Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to um, add an animation into an actual dummy. So this is a pretty basic and beginner video for Roblox. And as myself, I am new to this and it was kind of hard to find a good video that explained exactly how to do a simple animation. So let's begin. So first off, you want to make sure you have the plugin that is called um, Animation Editor. So once you have that, then you're able to actually go in, bring out a dummy, go in here and actually edit the animation. So the animation that I have here, and I'm not going to go into animations, I'm not very good at it as it, uh, right now, uh, but there's a ton of videos out there that'll show you how to actually do this. So here's what mine looks like. Just doing some simple leg movements with some arms. That's all I have going on. But once you get your animation done, what you want to do is you want to hit these three um, dots right here then you want to go to export and what this is going to do i'm just going to call it a disco dance 2 um, and i'm just going to put a simple dance move and this is actually sending it out to your roblox um, so you hit submit it'll go out there and then but here's the main part why i wanted to show you that in the beginning you'll get this id right here you can copy this right away, which I suggest you do. Um, if not, you can go out to your Roblox site, and inside there you can find all your dance or all your animations and find it there. Um, and again, there's other videos that show you how to do that. That's not the main focus on this. The main focus on this is actually showing you how to actually get the bot or the dummy and then actually use it in your game. So first off, you want to make sure you go to this plugins tab and you will see this build rig. With build rig, you click on it, and then you have two options. It doesn't matter which one you pick. Um, for the sake of this video and, and my animation, I'm gonna go ahead and pick this, which is where you'll get this guy. Now, as soon as you do this, you'll get underneath your workspace a new dummy. I'm gonna name this Dance Guy, just to keep him different. And he's already created for you. Everything's good in here. Um, but now you want to add animation. So if you start this game right now, he's just going to stand here. So the way you add animation is with a script. So inside of your actual guy, so this guy's dance guy, you want to hit this plus button. Then you want to add a script. So the script is right here for me. I'm just going to spell it out So because you guys might not have it at the top. Once you start spelling the script, it'll populate and a new script will come in. In this script is where most of the magic actually happens. So you want to type in local animation and I'll add this um, to the actual uh, description as well so you guys can copy it from there. Um, I'm going to do script then you want to wait for the child. Okay. And then inside here, inside the brackets here, you want to um, tell it it's animation. Make sure that's capitalized. Okay, your next line, we're gonna make a local variable called humanoid. And then you wanna make this equal to script again. You wanna make it go into the parent. Again, you want to make it wait for the child. And then inside here, you want to look for humanoid. It's already there. So now that's going to wait for the humanoid. And as you can see, it didn't spell local right. Is that? Okay, so the next one, we have one more. And this is going to be local. We'll call this dance. And the local dance is going to be equal to the humanoid we just said. And we're going to tell that to load the animation. And then inside here, you want to put animation. This one is lowercase. Um, but it might autofill for you, so you won't have any mess up. So that, that's the main thing that I see people messing up with. Make sure this is capitalized and this is lowercase. Okay, and then now the last thing is a simple falling dance. It's a simple line and then you're just going to say play. So now this is going to go in and actually play your animation. 
Okay, so now we have the script, and I'm gonna go ahead and rename this script. Cause I, I, my animation is Disco Dance 2. I'm just gonna call it Disco Dance. Two. And then you can name whatever you want, that's not important. Uh, but now inside this script that you just created, you wanna hit the plus one more time. And then in there, you wanna search for animation. Mine again is already at top, but right here in the search bar, you just type in A and I am, and it'll start showing you animation. The top one is what you want. So animation, you wanna click on it, and you can see right here underneath data, you have an animation ID. The animation ID that you copied earlier, that I copied earlier, is the animation I want to start. So I'll paste that and it automatically fills out this other part. So now it's going to basically go in here and look for this animation ID, know what it's supposed to play, and whenever the game starts, it'll be in a loop on that. So let's see that actually work. Should have changed this, but I'm actually in a room, so let me get out of here and go find my guy real quick. There he is, and he is doing his, his animation. So it's just in a continuous loop. So that's all there is to it. Uh, you make your script, then you make your animation, and you add that animation ID into that. Hopefully, this was helpful and straight to the point. And um, if you have any questions, definitely feel free to ask in the comments, and I'll be sure to answer those. Thanks.